Hey trumpet nerds, welcome back to John Talks Trumpet. This week, we've got another mouthpiece feature for you, the Giddings David Hickman model Big Boy Orchestral Mouthpiece. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to John Talks Trumpet for weekly videos about trumpet-related products and equipment. First, let's quickly go through the specs of this mouthpiece. The rim has an inner diameter of about 0.680 inches, which is between a Bach 1X and 1 diameter. The cup is based on a Bach 1B, the throat is a 24, and the backbore is very similar to a Bach Symphonic 24 backbore. So here are some of the many unique and notable features that stand out to me about this mouthpiece. The first is the characteristic Dave Hickman rim. The rim is based off a mouthpiece rim design that Dave Hickman played for over 30 years from a Neil Sanders 17DB mouthpiece. Neil Sanders was the horn professor at Western Michigan University, and before that was the principal horn of the London Philharmonic Orchestra and the BBC Symphony Orchestra. His mouthpieces, which he made for trumpet as well as horn, were most well known for their unique and innovative rim design. Sanders' mouthpieces specifically featured a very wide and flat rim, with the high point of the rim being more towards the outside, giving it a very slight inward slope. The Hickman rim is heavily influenced by this design and also features a very soft bite or inner edge of the rim. Hickman himself says that he prefers the feel of a more rounded bite due to the fact that he cut his lip in high school due to too much mouthpiece pressure and a lack of proper muscular support, which he calls pucker, when using a mouthpiece with a sharp bite. To illustrate just how wide this rim is, let me compare its width with a more conventional mouthpiece. My Park 640 rim has a rim width of about 0.205 inches, while the Hickman rim width is about 0.236 inches. I know this may not sound like a big difference, but in terms of mouthpiece dimensions, this is actually a substantial difference. The width of the Hickman rim is about 15% wider than the width of the Park rim. When you think about that additional width wrapping around the entire circumference of the mouthpiece, that's a difference you can easily feel. That extra width around the rim of the mouthpiece is designed to spread out the pressure of the mouthpiece on your face and is meant to increase endurance. The extra wide rim will make this mouthpiece feel bigger than most, but again, the inner rim diameter is not all that extreme at about 0.680 inches. The final thing to say about this rim is that the version Hickman preferred has a satin finish. The satin finish has microscopic machining marks that provide more grip on the embouchure compared to the polished finish of most mouthpieces. Another interesting feature of this mouthpiece is the material it's made from. The Big Boy mouthpiece is made entirely out of stainless steel. Unlike typical brass mouthpieces, which are plated in silver or gold, stainless steel mouthpieces are solid steel with no plating at all. The alloys that Giddings uses for these mouthpieces is either 304 stainless steel or PH 155 stainless steel, which are used in a variety of household and industrial applications such as food handling and processing equipment, screws, machinery parts, and utensils. Giddings, the company that manufactures this mouthpiece, makes exclusively stainless steel and titanium mouthpieces. Their claims about why they make mouthpieces from stainless include that stainless steel is hypoallergenic, it projects more energy, faster and easier, and is a very tough material. I've talked about the Mohs hardness scale in my rhodium plating video, but basically the Mohs scale is used to compare the hardness of various minerals. Gold and silver both rank between a 2.5 and 3 out of 10, with the 10 being the hardest, or most scratch resistant material, which is diamond. Steel ranks between a 5.5 and a 6. Because of this, it is way less likely to get dented or bent than a typical silver or gold-plated mouthpiece made of brass. So I personally played this mouthpiece as my main mouthpiece for about seven months in college. David Hickman, who worked with Giddings and Webster, now just Giddings, to make this mouthpiece, was actually my trumpet professor while I was doing my bachelor's degree at Arizona State University. For more in-depth stories about my previous main mouthpieces, go ahead and check out my mouthpiece breakups video. To me, the rim is just super comfortable. I like to describe it like a big comfy pillow on your face. The width of the rim distributes the pressure across more surface area on your lips, and the smooth bite makes it so you can hardly feel the soft edge of the rim going into the cup as you apply more pressure. The Hickman and Neil Sanders style rims anecdotally seem to be really good for people recovering from embouchure injuries. Even though this is definitely a substantial mouthpiece, it's not actually all that much bigger than many commonly used orchestral mouthpieces. The unique rim design aside, the other dimensions of this mouthpiece are very recognizable as an orchestral piece with the 1x size inner diameter, 1b cup, 24 throat, and symphonic backbore. Anybody who plays a Bach 1b type mouthpiece may want to give this design a try. 
Another thing that I noticed is that stainless steel actually seems to have a different overtone signature than a typical brass mouthpiece. They do actually sound different, in a way that Hickman really preferred. The way Professor Hickman came to the conclusion that he liked the stainless steel was actually pretty scientific. So Hickman actually had Giddings and Webster make him another big boy mouthpiece in silver plated brass so he could compare it to the stainless steel. Hickman asked his students to listen to live and recorded comparisons between the two mouthpieces blindfolded, and they all agreed that they preferred the stainless steel sound. If you want to find out more about the development of this mouthpiece, Dave Hickman and Ivan Giddings had a very lengthy conversation with members of the Trumpet Herald community in 2007. You can find a link to that in the description. Here's a few playing examples so you can hear what it sounds like. One thing to note about this mouthpiece is that unlike many signature models, getting to the trouble to have various options available for those people who want a mouthpiece like the big boy, but with different customizations. They offer the Hickman models not only with his signature Hickman rim, but also with a Bach rim option called the TBR, which stands for the Bach rim, which is similar to a Bach one rim. They also offer different finishes for this mouthpiece. Satin is the one that Hickman preferred, which has the microscopic machining marks. And then there's also Polished, which is more similar to a gold-plated mouthpiece. And also Frost, which is a newer option that I'm less familiar with, but Giddings describes as being like an old Besson finish. They do come in various cup depths as well. The Big Boy is the standard 1B depth, but they also offer a medium deep, medium, and shallow depth Hickman model mouthpiece. The medium cup is shaped like a B cup, but is slightly shallower than a box C cup. There is also an MD or medium deep version, which is between the big boy and the medium. And finally, there's also a shallow cup version, which is somewhat V shaped, but is somewhere between a Bach D and E cup. One quick point about the throat size on the medium and shallow varieties. On the Giddings website, it does say that the medium is a 26 throat instead of a 24 like the big boy, but when I asked Giddings about the throat size on these models, they said that that was actually a mistake and that all Hickman models have a 24 throat. I found this a little confusing because I also saw references to the 26 throat design on an older Trumpet Herald thread talking about the signature models, but since I don't have one of these medium cup mouthpieces anymore, I can't tell you for certain. The big boy version of this mouthpiece is also available in cornet shank. And any of those options also can come in satin, polished, frost, or with the TBR rim. All these mouthpieces are available on the Giddings website and are around $170, but the price varies based on which customizations you choose. Thank you so much for joining me for this week's episode of John Talks Trumpet. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and please consider subscribing to John Talks Trumpet so you can follow me on all of my nerdy trumpet adventures.